So as Cora mentioned, as far as blogging goes and social networking and all these things that we are hearing about today, we're all at different levels. Some of us are starting out, some of us are intermediate, and some are very advanced, and I'm sure there are people in the audience who are more advanced than I am, and if that's the case, please raise your hand and feel free to, to add something that I might have forgotten. Um, you know, my husband often tells me that I need to learn by doing rather than memorizing steps, and that's been one of the biggest problems that I've faced, and I think a lot of people face today is from the old-fashioned way of memorizing step by step. A lot of times it, with this new media, it's just a question of sitting at your computer and playing around and figuring it out. So, today's presentation I am going to cover, I'll give you an overview so that you know what we're gonna, I'm going to be speaking about. The first thing is, what is a blog? Why do you need a blog? And how do you start a blog? And Cora and um, Aileen and I will show you uh, using Blogger, which is probably the easiest uh, of all the different types of systems to start a blog. Then something else that's important to think about is how do you pick your blog name? A lot of people don't really think about that, but that's really important and I'll let you know why later on. The purpose of your blog. Um, I'm also going to give you some tips on how how to help you figure out what to write about. You know, writers often say they have writer's block. Bloggers often joke about blogger's block. So um, I'll show you a few tips on that. How to write effective blog posts. How to get visitors. Now, it's fine to write, but what you really want is you want people to come and see you. So I'll give you some, some help on that. How to grow your audience if you already have a blog. And finally, I'm going to talk about good things that happen to people who blog. <laughs> so, starting with motivation, why did I start a blog? Two words, a person named Catherine Sanderson. In 2004, she's a British author. She's an expat living in Paris. Um, her blog, she started, and it was called Petite Anglaise. I don't know if you can put that blog up there. But anyway, um, I was so envious of this woman that I said, this is why I'm going to start my own blog. She was writing short stories about her life in Paris. And um, what ended up happening was it was like a soap opera. People would come and wait for the next installment of her story. And she started getting a huge following. And one of the followers of her blog was actually a journalist for the Daily Telegraph newspaper. And he asked if he could interview her. And after that, her blog went completely viral. She got 3,000 hits a day. Um, and she got a book deal. And I thought, you know, why not dream for that? That's what really motivated me. There's also a more recent example of that, and that is um, Julie Powell. How many of you have seen the movie Julie Julia? Yeah? Okay, that, that also started with a blog. Um, and the funny thing is that Katherine Sanderson and Julie Powell had one thing in common. They were very bored at work. <laughs> and that's why they started a blog. And I thought, whoa, maybe we should all start blogs. Um, and her book, uh, her blog ended up in a book deal and, and as I said, the movie as well. Now, one other thing that I read on an agent's blog, because I, I love to go to all these agents and editors' blogs and see what they have to say. And if this doesn't motivate you to start a blog, then I don't know what will. Um, we all want to write well and uh, agents, of course, get, or editors get, thousands of manuscripts they have to go through. If they get two manuscripts from two talented <coughs> writers and they have them side by side, they will Google both writers and see which one of the two has an online presence. The one who has a blog who's, you know, you can Google the person's name and they, they're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on everything, they will get the book deal, not the other one, even though they might, the other one might be equally talented. So, 
That's why it, um, <coughs> it, I have been motivated to do this myself.